man. That color green on a Cracker Jack. <laughs> Do you have a water? No. Me neither. Perfect. Sans water. My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. We got some hot sauce, we got some hair product. Jake, how are you doing? James, I'm good. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? No, I don't know. Happy National Pet Day? Are we getting that right? It's National Pet Day, according to our notes here. Jake has a pet. I've I have a, pet. a couple You've pets. Got a couple pets. Zach has pet mice. I want to get a turtle because I read they live like 35, 40 years, and I want to race it to the grave. Yeah, it's always weird when you buy a pet you know you're going to outlive. You look good. Not bad. Just got goop on my hands. Well, anything to wash it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one are you having? I'm having the reddish one. Cheers. Sup, Sean Evans? How you oh, doing? Sean, you're a White Sox fan. You want to do something when we do something with the White Sox. He's a oh. friend. Careful around your eyes. We're friends. DM'd over the weekend. Jake, anything happen DM'd. in the sports world? Jim, sports. Mm-hmm. Always going on. How about baseball? Do you follow Joe Musgrove? No hitter. That's pretty cool. No, no, Joe. Shirt. Add. The first no hitter in Padres history, which is pretty cool. Oh. Pretty cool. He's from San Diego, so that's double cool. Says here his family owns a coffee shop in San Diego, and since the no-no, business has been brewing. Okay. I get it. The Caratini part of it's really cool. The last catcher to catch a no-hitter caught your boy, Alec Mills, no-hitter. Alec Mills, no-hitter, was also just no one in the stands. Like, weird times. This one was a little better. I think you, Darvish, throws the next one. Caratini's his uh, catcher again. Cracker Jacks get stuck in your teeth, huh? Yeah, they do. That wasn't spicy at all. I kind of liked it. Yeah, it was sweet more than spice. Congrats to Joe Musgrove and all the Padres fans. I mean, Padres are good for baseball, man. I keep telling if you're a new fan, root for the Padres, and they just keep rewarding their new fans. Let's go green next, and then you tell us what we're going to break down. That's bad. This is bad. We just have kind of gone and let Zach make it good. Is that harder for you? Yes. Jake, almost a breakdown's a segment we do here, but we got a lot of breakdowns. Can you tell us what we're talking about? It's not on the sheet. We changed it last second. I'm going to eat my green hot sauce. Oh, you ate it. James, MLB replay. I mean, MLB knows how to get the headlines. What do the kids want to see? The Bad replay calls. system has been a mess. We're having home runs called back. The whole elbow incident. Doink. Little Zach put in a sound effect. And Jim, last night, Alec, boom. Let me see that boom. Doesn't touch home plate. They said he touched home plate. They reviewed it. Didn't touch home plate. Inconclusive, bad times, brave lose because of it. Replay, let's use it to benefit the sport. It's adding a lot of breakdowns and a lot of fun, which I like a lot of intrigue, but no, in the end, no. we're getting so many calls wrong. And here's my big stance on it. Once they say, hey, we don't trust what that human just said, let's go to the videos to see what the videos say. No longer should what the humans say hold any weight. But they're like, that holds all the weight still, and the guys in New York will never, unless there's like 100% evidence, they won't overturn it because it's like not conclusive. It's like, but why are we trusting the one thing that we said we don't trust anymore? I've never understood why the call on the field holds any weight when the entire reason you ask for a replay is because you don't trust the call on the field. So why would it matter? I don't get it. Humans are humans. Humans are humans. It's hard to see. Hard to see. The replays were better, so if we're 90% sure, just go with that. Fuck what the guy said originally. That's the whole reason we reviewed it, because we don't trust him. It never makes sense to me. So the replay system is broke, broken. It's breaking down. They need to fix it. How'd you like that green flavor? I did not. Something feels different about this episode. James in not sports... We've got a good one today. Going to barbecue. Okay. It just tastes bad. None of these are that spicy at all. A deer. We did a deer video already. I don't think it made the final cut, that deer video we did a while ago. When the deers ran into the garage. That was a good video. So this is our second deer video on Weekly Dumb. First one didn't make the cut. Deer goes blasting through a bust windshield. Lands on top of a kid who's sleeping in the first row. I never slept on a bus in the position that he's sleeping. 
Did you sleep? I always use the window because that rattling of the window. Wake up and you're like, oh my god! Blah, 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 blah. And the cold of the window helped me nap real good on buses. Some buses there's too much bup bup. I kind of like the bup bup. Nah, too much bup 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 is unsleepable. I was a huge school bus fan. I lived. I was next door neighbors with my elementary school. Like it was a four minute walk. My backyard and the backyard of the elementary school I went to touched. I would wake up extra early to go on to walk the other direction. Get on the bus and take like a 40 minute bus ride to school because I just love the social aspect of bus rides. Huge school bus fan. I never had a deer shoot through and land on me though. And it's all perfect. Perfectly handled by the deer, probably having a bad time, freaks out a little bit, but does his job. Bus driver tracks the deer, says, okay, there's a deer on the bus. Shh. Then once it's still going, proper hey, avenues you, to let it open. Your, you got to get out. Sleepy 15 year old cracks me up because like. We've all been there. And, like, the kid doesn't even care. And I think the quote from the article was, like, I didn't expect that. He's like, oh, well. <laughs> I don't think he even saw Good job, the kid. I don't think he saw the deer. He just felt something on his back, looked up, and they were like, oh, yeah, a deer hit you. And he's like, what? Yeah. Him and that deer, It's I, it made me a little sad knowing they never met each other because I think they had a lot you in don't common. Know that. Well, I hope they got to meet up at, like, a press junket later on. They knew each other from before. They both. Why do you think the deer was jumping at him? I don't know. I just think the little kid could be like, I don't want to be here either, man. Like, yeah. Oh, see, I've got it totally different. I think that kid's a piece of shit. <laughs> and I think he messed with that deer earlier. The deer <laughs> came back to get him? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Are they still having kids wake up far too early for school? Yes. They are? They haven't changed that yet? I was an early guy. Never a dry guy. Never? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the bus? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Our middle school. Back of the bus. I'm going to eat my next hot sauce, Cracker Jack. This one looks like it should be you're the spicy about, one. You are talking about jerking off on no. bus. No. <laughs> None of those are really spicy. They're all just salsa. It's the employee of the, of the week. week. It's the employee. sort of creep. Ooh, wow. Speaking of Zach and employee of the week, we are giving employee of the week this week to Joe Musgrove. And Stephen Brault. No, opposite. Wrong. Oh, opposite. Stephen Brault and Miggy Rojas. Because? Because they crushed it. They they brought on their first guest for the Chris Rose rotation. It's two guys that have been storylines of baseball. Musgrove, Joey No-No's shirt ad. Brault brought him on. Brault brought him on. And then Miggy Rojas, double play partner, partner, Jazz Chisholm, took DeGrom deep, and he's just like, very cool. He took a 100 mile per hour to ground fastball to the second deck. Bye. So, Musgrove and Jazz Chisholm are employees of the week. It's Brault and Rojas for bringing them bringing on them to the on Chris Rose rotation. To be employees of the week. What's the, what's the date? Oh, so no way would we give out employee of the month yet. No. <laughs> Gross. Right? Good sound effect, Zach. You got the burp. James, I'm a piece of shit, Zach, because like. Very cool. I didn't expect that. That was a weekly dumb!